having an affair since October of last year. She has lied to me so much over the last 10 months that I don't know what's real. I could tell something was wrong immediately in the way she kissed me. She claims that up until this month, July, she didn't have sex with this guy. I actually found out about him in February. She claimed back then that he was someone she used to date, but never had sex with. I still insisted she cut off contact because what she was doing was an emotional affair. She convinced me I was crazy. She said she wouldn't talk to him though. Yesterday, she wakes me up crying and tells me that she needs to tell me something that is going to hurt me. She tells me that she never stopped talking to him and that now he is blackmailing her on Facebook. Still, she insisted she never had sex with him. At least, I still believed her lies, at least until I talked to my mom and she helped me put the pieces together. Last night, she tells me that she had sex with him a couple of weeks ago. My wife and six-year-old son love amusement parks. I don't. Fins make me sick. So when my wife bought a pass for a local amusement park that gave her access to every other park in the country. I didn't think too much of it when she said she wanted to take our son on an eight-hour drive to an amusement park in the South. At this point, I should admit that I'm a massively naive idiot for believing any of this. She was going to visit this guy and his mom with my two kids and playing house. She went back two more times. She drove eight hours across the country to be with this guy three times. I can't believe anything she says. I want to think that what she's saying now is the truth, but my gut says she is still lying to me. She says I was an inattentive husband. I admit I'm a homebody, but I've always been there for her and the kids. I feel so sick and heartbroken. I swear I'm a magnet for abusive people. I don't know what I want to do next. All I know is I love my kids, and I made a promise to myself a long time ago that if I ever had any children, I would neglect them the way my father did. I forgot to mention that the guy she cheated with contacted a lot of people on my wife's Facebook and outed the whole thing. I don't know who knows, but all of this is out in the world for my friends and family to rub a neck at. My mind's just racing in vicious circles, jumping from one awful thing to the next. I knew my Moi marriage wasn't perfect, but I thought none were and I never thought this could happen. I don't understand how she could make the choice to do this. She's apologizing, crying, and telling me she messed up. She's telling me I'm the one she wants to be with, but she got caught up in trying to fill a void in her life. I think her affair partner put it all online in the hopes that it would lead to a divorce, and then they could be together. As far as I know, he's not married or dating anyone besides my wife. She wants to know if I think there's any hope for us. I told her to stop asking me that because it's a question designed to make her feel better. She said she loaned him money and that she pushed to have it repaid, and that's when he messaged people from her Facebook. I haven't eaten in two days. I feel like I'm falling apart. She says $200, but she is obviously a liar. So who knows what she gave him? I've read the 180. It will be hard, but once I can pull myself together a little, I'm going to try. She's not willing to leave. She's worried she will lose the kids. Recording without consent isn't legal in my state. She got back from her last trip early this month. She says everything blew up between her and her app in the last week found out he is an alcoholic. When she first told me about him months ago, she said they dated but never had a sexual relationship and that she just wanted closure. I'm um, to find out they dated and had sex for a year until they separated. She lied and lied some more, even as we went to couples therapy. She says that she never stopped loving him and him showing up again on Facebook started as them trying to be friends. I told her back in February when this started coming out that this was how affairs started and then she proceeded to go and have an affair with him. She now says I'm the one she wants and that he isn't the person she used to love. She's now admitted that they have had sex three times. If he had been Mr. Right, she would have left me. I know it. When I was looking through her phone, I saw that she messaged my sort of estranged sister who by coincidence works with several people who used to work with me and was asking if I was having an affair with one of them. This was months ago. She was making me out to be a cheater when she was the cheater. I assume she was hoping I was cheating, so she would have a reason to leave and go be happy with her app. We are both kind of poor, although I guess not as poor as her app. He lives with his mom and his mom stayed in touch with my wife for years. Then she fostered an environment where the affair could happen. His mom wanted my wife for a daughter. It's so sick and crazy. He is apparently in jail at the moment. She clearly never stopped loving him, and she told me that she didn't think it would have mattered when he came back into her life. She thinks it would have ended up this way. She says that she was in love with who he used to be. 
I believed that if he was even close to how she had remembered him, she would have left me for him and started a new family. I think the fantasy didn't live up to the reality. He was definitely the one that got away from her, and vice versa. I didn't even know he existed, or this relationship had existed before October of last year. She kept him hidden so when he eventually resurfaced, they could rekindle. I'm having a hard time reconciling who I thought she was with who she is, the person I loved and trusted with the person who betrayed me. She is swearing she will do anything to make up for it, even if it isn't possible. She says she doesn't want to be this sick monster, says she wants to be better for me and the kids, regardless of D or R. She has already written and mailed no contact letters to both her Alpenope's mom. She says she will let me know immediately if she is contacted again. They seem genuine. I told her I need access to her phone whenever I feel. She agreed after putting up a bit of a fight yesterday when I insisted on access while she left the room. She's seeking counseling. I think her remorse is genuine now, even if at the time of the affair it wasn't, since she's given her third version of the story, I think she's telling the truth. I'm aware I could be wrong, but my gut says no. She says he would get moody after her visits and became more insistent that she leave me. She says that she refused and that's part of why things turned sour for them. I don't think she would actually try to keep the children from me, and I'm pretty sure I have a mountain of evidence between a letter she wrote me, which included her confession version 1.0, and the text that she has sent, that I could easily win full custody if I chose. We may fight about a lot of things, but she has never threatened to take the kids away from me. I think she knows she has a long way to go to even try to IA, and all the effort may end up in vain. I believe that she's disgusted with her actions and the situation she put our kids in. She has made many statements that make me feel like she genuinely understands the pain she has caused and will cause us, the kids and me. I think that she understands that things are never going to be like they were and that she has miles of shit to crawl through to even hope to begin to make things right. In App's message that he sent out to the world that outed the affair, he said he wanted to talk to me. So a few days ago, I sent a message on Facebook. Well, he must have gotten out of jail because he finally responded last night. It was a messed up conversation. He apparently has some confusion about what my wife's maiden name is because he was saying things like, isn't your name X when my Facebook says it's I, this person, who my wife carried a torch for 11 years and thought she never stopped loving, and he never stopped loving her, couldn't even remember her last name. His confusion made him think he was talking to my wife. I went back and forth between calling him a complete idiot when he would think it wasn't my wife he was talking to and playing along. It was pretty satisfying to mess with his head the way he had messed with mine, and it's nice to know that he really seems dumb as hell. It makes me question my wife's judgment even more, but it was incredible. He couldn't keep up. One moment he was convinced he was talking to me, and the next he was convinced he was talking to her. He went from trying to go the jilted husband to trying to have a breakup fight with my wife. At one point, he sent a text to my wife and she showed me immediately. I told my wife about the conversation and I let her read it. He said some pretty nasty stuff, including calling my six-year-old with some special needs retarded. It felt nice to show my wife his true colors. Right what? I've already blocked the app. I had my fun with him, but I quickly realized not much good could come from talking to him. She does answer no to all of those questions, and I think she really is questioning what made her fall for such a creep in the first place. She opened herself up last night and made herself vulnerable about a topic that I knew was an issue but never pressed. I thought if and when she wanted to talk about it, I would be there for her. Her remorse feels genuine. I've never seen her like this in our entire relationship. She knows how badly she messed up and is racked with guilt for what she did to me and the kids. She has a plan that includes Icy for her and our older son. I think she didn't understand what she was doing to them as it was happening, but now she has some perspective, and it's gotta be tearing her apart. She's made massive life-changing mistakes that impact everyone in our family forever in seeing the havoc that it's placed on me. And worse, our son, who has already begun acting out, has given her a wake-up call. At the very least. I think she wants to do what's right for our children, whether we manage to make it work or not. Your suggestions are excellent, and I will ask for them. As for Ike for myself, I know I need it, and I've been looking at names, and I'm worried about finding the right one. I know I'll just have to get out there and try them out. But the whole MC thing from back in February has left a very bad taste in my mouth. She shared some more of the truth last night. Every time it happens, 
I desperately want to believe that it's the whole story this time, and at first I do, but then I have some time to reflect, and I worry that it's not all. I begged her, before she began to just get it all out, and not to keep ripping the wound open, and that nothing she could say would be worse than continuing to betray my trust by lying to me. I'm at the point where even if she is telling me everything, I probably won't believe it. Unfortunately, the reason she told me more was that I was talking to the app, and proof that she was still lying could come out at any second. Now that scares the shit out of me. She did go beyond anything that he could have proved, but I'm still terrified that it's not all. Honestly, what she told me last night was pretty freaking terrible, but it's not worse than the thought that she's still lying to me. Because if she's still... Because if she's still lying, then she's not being real about doing anything to help me get better, or herself, or her kids. I know she's messed up and has done reprehensible things. Regardless of if our marriage survives, she will always be the mother of my children, and I want her to get better so she can be the best version of herself possible for the kids. She needs help and is hurting. That doesn't minimize my pain or the children's pain, and I see is in the works for our older son and her. Anything or anyone can help her. I want that. It's going to be a week before she sees a professional. She can't wait that long to have some kind of support or someone to talk to that isn't me. Her shame will stop her from sharing with friends or family. Some of you ask if she is showing remorse and then make me feel stupid for saying that she is. She isn't blaming me and hasn't since D-Day. She's already talked to my mom. There is no one else in my family who deserves anything from her. Her family is kind of crazy. I wouldn't want her to do that. It feels vindictive. It would even feel good, but I don't know if it would help anything. The things she told me last night were deeply humiliating for her. They would be for anyone. She has completely, 100 stopped blaming me for any part of this. I'm not trying to be a martyr or a nice guy. My kids are very important to me, and whether we survive as a couple, they need their mother. I'm feeling very low today. I have to go back to work tomorrow, but I'm planning on staying at my mom's for a few days, starting tomorrow to get some space. I still find the same thoughts running through my mind. The essence, that the emotions, tell, why? I no longer feel like my chest is about to cave in. I'm so depressed and in such a bad place that I barely feel like I can shower, let alone run around visiting lawyers. I've had problems with depression forever, but this is something else. I don't take care of my mental health. I never have. I don't have a doctor to see. I don't see a way out, Dissipate. I'm still working on finding a doctor. West is helping me find a therapist or psychiatrist. Hopefully it will happen soon. Half the time I'm so depressed and constantly thinking about suicide. The rest of the time, I go from anger to wanting all the details and trying to understand why. I don't know how I'm making it through each day. I'm seeing positive signs from my W's, but at the same time, it all feels like crap. I'm never going to be the same, and I won't ever understand how someone who I loved and trusted completely could hurt me like this, could hurt our family like this. What was she thinking? I'm loyal, this could hurt our family like this. What was she thinking? I'm loyal, always there for her and the kids. We've shared so many highs and lows, shared love and pain, and I thought that even though we fought and didn't have a perfect fairy tale life, we had an unbreakable bond. I was wrong. None of the things we had been through were enough to stop her from doing this, to stop the lying, and it has broken my heart so completely that I know the best I can hope for is deep, disfiguring scars. She had emotionally disconnected from me to the point that she tried to find answers to her problems in the arms of another man. Not only did she give her body to him in almost every way possible, but she also gave her heart to him. She says she sees him for what he is now, a low if active alcoholic who tried to use her for his own gains, to support his kids and move out of his mom's house. How she thought she could have this great family life that she felt she was always missing with a 30-year-old man who lives with his mom is beyond me. She says he wanted a traditional relationship where he was the man and made all the decisions. That's never been her. I just don't understand how she could have been so blinded by this loser. All of this makes me feel so worthless. I've struggled with feeling like I'm not good enough my entire life, and now the one person who I knew thought of me as good enough tried to replace me. She says she was never going to leave me, and that when he would beg and plead for her to stay, he would get angry because she would always come back to me. I think he realized that she wasn't going to leave me, and that's why he hurt her and me, by putting the whole thing out on Facebook. I don't know where to go from here. I feel like the shock is wearing off, and now I have to start the long process of coming to terms with what's happened. 
I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive her. I mourn for the life I had, even though it was a lie. I'm having a really hard time with the sex part of the affair. The fact that she was much more adventurous with App than with me, and that he got acts that she always told me were disgusting and degrading, hurts bad. She keeps saying it wasn't about sex, but somehow they ended up having all this sex and acts that I never or rarely got. He got them. Sex and acts that I never or really got. He got them. I don't feel like a man anymore. They stole that from me. She makes it seem like all the sex was miserable because of the guilt, but I have a hard time believing that. I'm still working on Ike. I know I badly need it. It's too much. My depression has always made me feel like I don't want to leave the house, but now it's at an all-time worst. She was already having a physical affair when I thought it was emotional, and she informed me of his existence. She swore up and down that I was making too much of them talking. Meanwhile, they were already having sex. She was gaslighting me until I believed the story she was selling. She tells me she never intended to leave me, but that she was in love with both of us. She was totally willing to let me go, though. I feel like such a failure as a man. The sex stuff's driving me crazy. Crazy. She says he was aggressive, but it never got to the point where she would say no to the aggressive way he would demand sex act. He got all I ever had and more in the less than three weeks they spent together than I have in almost a decade. It just doesn't make sense to me and makes me feel completely worthless. She actually told me that App never complimented her or anyone on their first go around and during the affair. It's another part of the whole thing making no sense. I told her how beautiful, pretty, sexy she was all the time. I felt like she believed it and didn't think of it as lip service, but who knows? She hasn't flat out told me that she thought it was lip service when I complimented her. There's a few cakes. I see for her. She is a sick, twisted, devious bitch. She will continue to hold resentments and blame me for all of this. She isn't capable of changing in any meaningful or impactful way. At this point, I'm just ready to throw it all away and run and never look back. She's a liar. When she first told me about the kids being in the room, it was they had sex. But initiate. Her story changed to after I threatened to take the kids away from her. She's using the emotional turmoil as cover and hoping that I was bombarded with so much information that I will just forget that little fact. She's a narcissist and a liar. My son is in therapy. He's autistic, high functioning, so communication isn't exactly his strongest trait. The thing could have happened and he wouldn't have ability to communicate it in a typical way. She tells me all the old stuff about how I make her feel alone and I made her disconnect from me. I was angry, freaking furious. I told her to leave. Everything she said I said has come out of my mouth at some point over the last two plus weeks. I've tried to hold back the hate, but it just starts flowing. So I'm telling her to leave? She's saying no. She starts screaming that I don't have the right to put my hands. At this point, all we have done is yell at each other on her and grabs her phone and says she's calling the cops. I took her phone away from her. I didn't hit her or beat her up in any way to get the phone. I put my hand on it and wouldn't let go. That's when she bit me. At this point, I went into the kitchen and had a bit of a mental breakdown. I went back to telling her to leave. I gave her her phone back and she left. I know I have no excuse to take her phone away, but if she has a bruise or mark anywhere on her body, then I'm the effing Pope. If you all wanted to tear me to shreds, go for it. I feel like the scum of the earth right about now for having this whole thing out in front of the kids. I'm going to leave the apartment to her and the kids as soon as I feel like I'm not having a heart attack. I don't know you. He seems like a genuine bait ass and I think he will help me as much as a lawyer can. Cause I need to stay away from any forms of contact with my Stevie W. Since she is here. She is here. I cannot be here for the time being. Thanks for the advice and prayers, everyone. I should have followed every single piece of advice you all gave me, but I'm stupid. I'll update when possible. After some serious soul-searching, I decided I need to come here and make a post. I hope the mods don't delete it, because it's something everyone should see. Maybe my story can help someone in the future.